Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your June forecast. It's really great to see everyone again, and I've been saying this across many signs this month, but I really enjoy the June forecasts in particular. To me, it's second only to the January ones because at the beginning of the year, you get a chance to sort of set in motion all of the things that you want to do. This is that midpoint, and it allows you a chance to check in with your heart and also check in with the list of things that you were trying to accomplish and see where you want to focus your energy. So um, as we look at things this month, it should be interesting to see what new things present themselves and if there's any sort of suggestions on maybe what you should let go of as well. So just a quick reminder before we get started, you can always use these forecasts for your sun, your rising, and also for your moon sign. And if there's someone in your life that you care about, you can watch it on their behalf. If you don't happen to know all about your chart, then just stick with your birth sign and you'll get more than enough information by doing that. To all of my returning viewers, I'd like to say thank you and welcome back. You make it worthwhile each and every month. And if you're brand new, a nice warm welcome. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nicholas Ashbaugh. Each and every month I show up here and I try to help you navigate through the ups, the downs, and the in-betweens. And the way that I do this is by setting up a forecast that has three major parts. The first is a channeled message. And at the beginning, I just use my intuition alone. We'll get into that in just a second, so stick around. Um, after that, I like to go into a nice full Celtic cross and whatever needs to come through or be presented for the month will present itself through the cards. Now, I know a lot of you like to look at certain areas of your life, so after that, I take a look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. If you happen to enjoy what you see here, uh, I encourage you to stick around until the end as well because I'll also go into how you can support the channel. This is very much fan and viewer supported, so things like liking and subscribing, joining me on social media, booking an appointment or becoming a patron and doing a one-time or a continuing contribution, these things help keep it alive and well. I'll get into all of the information on how you can do that at the end, but for now, I'd love to get into the channeled information, and I know you'd like me to do that as well, so let's get started. As I was meditating over your cards this month, there were two images that came to mind. The first was uh, hands that were outstretched in a receiving mode, and the second was a group of people um, kind of connected. It looked like a circle and um, it also looked like they were kind of holding one another's hands. So let's begin and talk about the hands that were outstretched. For me, that was really saying that this was a chance to allow for things to come in. I know that some of you might be the, the kind of person where people just share their life story or reach out and feel like they can talk to you about everything. This month, the universe is gonna pay it back in some way, shape, or form. It could be in the way of a compliment. Someone may just say, you look great. and it's hard for us as human beings sometimes to accept these compliments. Uh, my message to you is if you get a compliment, say thank you so much. That really made my day. You don't have to edit yourself. You don't have to try to return it immediately. Just receive it with gratitude and honesty. The next type of thing that you might be receiving could be in the form of an opportunity. So some of you may get a job opportunity or someone may come through and they're interested in you. So it could be love, it could be a job. And instead of pushing it back and thinking, I'm not good enough for that, or why is that happening? You could, if you're genuinely interested, say, well, let's talk, that sounds cool, or yeah, uh, here's my number, or whatever it is, you can try to begin the conversation. There may also be people in your life that just wanna do a favor, somehow pay it back to you. Um, and that could be as simple as, you know, picking you up from school, or, you know, giving you some sort of a, a freebie that they have, and they're like, you know what, I really would love you to have this, I can't do anything with it. Whatever the universe is throwing your way, whether it's a gift, um, an opportunity, a smile, a compliment, uh, whatever it is, you earned it. And the message that I wrote down in automatic writing related to this was to embrace and to cherish. To embrace the opportunity, to cherish what you received. Basically to be in a state of gratitude. Let's talk about the second image that I received when I was meditating. When I saw the, the circle of uh, people or the connected hands, I think that this month there are going to be some important connections that you make. Um, whether this is past or present or something that's brand new, uh, that I couldn't see in it. But I saw that there was a profound connection that existed because of this. And because it kind of looked like a chain, I feel like these are strong bonds that you could be making. So if you're trying to find a job or if you're reconnecting with an old friend or an old colleague, this one connection could lead to a chain of events or a chain of other connections that are gonna be very positive. So in this energy of embracing and cherishing, 
and particularly receiving that as well, you're going to open up a whole new um, array of connections and activities and possibilities. As always, free will is the most important thing here. So if something doesn't feel good, you can push it away. But you could also subconsciously, if you're not in a state of openness, of gratitude, of allowing for these changes to come in, then you're gonna kind of be pushing it. So as we look at the cards here in a moment, I wanna see what you can do to allow as much uh, beautiful energy to flow into your life in the way of abundance and love and opportunities as possible. And if there's anything that is also coming through that could present a block so that this wouldn't happen, because I really liked what I saw. Uh, I also with Embrace saw that for some of you, there could be a really great new friendship or love interest as well. So we'll see if that presents itself in the cards as well. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the Celtic Cross. I'm going to be quiet as I shuffle the cards and lay out the cross, but afterwards I'll pull up each card and talk about how it relates to you and the month ahead. In the near future, you have believe and succeed. And if you look at this, it's very much like uh, the front of a ship. And interestingly enough, in the near future, we have six of swords. So if we take these two cards side by side, I think that some of you are gonna have an opportunity to step out and it might be um, a move, like a physical move from one location to another, a new job. It could be travel for fun or for business, um, or it could simply be a message for you that moving forward, moving on is good, and you have to believe in the possibilities. So try to release any sort of stress, anxiety, or um, anything that is kind of feeling heavy energetically around this movement that wants to happen. So whether it's a symbolic move where you're shifting from one thing to another, or it's literally showing travel, uh, it feels like it's good. So open up, see what happens, and just let let things unfold in their own time. Let's go to the center card here. We have the Knight of Cups card in reverse, which can often show a feeling of release, relief, sometimes sadness, but it feels like for some of you, this has been um, a rather emotional period. I wanna pause for a moment here and highlight a few cards because for some of you, there could be uh, a change in marital status or uh, a relationship that could be coming to a close. We have justice reverse, which sometimes means stepping away from uh, a person, again, or a contract that's being dissolved. Three of swords in reverse, which can definitely include a breakup. And then the six of swords, which can be separation. And for some of you where this is playing a part, what we see in the past is needing to kind of see if this was the one or if this decision was right for you. The Three of Cups is usually entertaining other possibilities. Sometimes in a relationship, it shows a third party. If it's a job or a life event, it means a question of, is this the right fit? And what I'm seeing here for some of you is that you need some time, you need some space, and you may decide to move on and try something different. The reason though is because of the star card that's crossing the center, which is something better presents itself or you get a better understanding for who you are and your soul starts to kind of shine through on this. All right, I'm gonna now pull the camera up and we'll talk one by one about each of these cards because there are some additional meanings as well. Let's take a look at the two center cards together. Knight of Cups reversed, something highly emotional. Sometimes it's depression. Sometimes it's a loss. Sometimes it's just a feeling of not quite being where you should be. And part of what's bringing this about is this soul event that's coming in, the star. The star is about finally being at a point where you understand who you are, what's important, 
And it may be such an awakening, could be spiritual or it could just be sort of like this revelation of what you're supposed to be doing, that you have to take pause and re-examine not just where you're at, but where you want to be. This could mean that wherever you're kind of existing right now, it could be a living situation, uh, a contract, a marriage, even a course of study. Maybe you're two years into a degree and suddenly you think, I think I need to make a change. This wasn't what I signed up for. And it might be because all of a sudden you, you finally realize, I don't know why I've been denying it, but this is who I am. The star card is about being authentic, about integrating all pieces of you and allowing other people to see it. And for some of you, it can be a coming out too. So you might have tried to please others and in doing so, you weren't pleasing yourself. So the star is coming through and saying, let's set things right. Three of Cups. On a different note, this is in the deep past. The Three of Cups can be a celebration. So some of you may have received news over the past month or two about an upcoming wedding, graduation, reunion. Um, sometimes it can even show something like a funeral, but it's a gathering. And I think this was the connection of hands. You'll even notice that the three people here are um, engaged or they're nearly touching the hands there. So this is good. This is, this is showing me that you found something joyful or something celebratory in your life. And I hope you engage in whatever this was and whatever's trying to come through here, whether it's love, friendship, or an activity, it looks promising, it looks good. And I think that this could help shift around whatever was going on here and bring you closer to understanding who you are, what you want, etc. It'll give you some closure on certain areas of your life. Justice in reverse in the recent past. If you're not engaged in some sort of dissolving of a contract or divorce or a feeling that things aren't working out, what this is trying to remind you of is the power and also sometimes the danger of critical thought. Because for me, justice reverse can literally be like no or don't or stop. It's like pulling the brakes on. So you may have had second thoughts about whatever this is, whether it's new love or this activity that's coming through. And some of you may be doing this because you're healing. The heart space is really what's represented in the Three of Swords. Not only is it a breakup card, but it's also looking at your life. Are you happy? Have you kind of checked off all the, the bucket list items that you really want to? Um, what has to happen this month, since this is in the crowning position, is letting your heart get to a place where it's safe, it's happy, and if you need to process the pain of loss or separation, because by the way, justice, reverse, and the six of swords can indicate death. So some of you may have had to leave something that you really, really love. It could be a, an old house, it could be a job, it could be that someone walked out on you or you lost, like literally someone died in your, in your life. So if you're dealing with that kind of a loss, then there's some major change and some major shifting that needs to happen and your heart's gonna need some time to mend. Now, when we look in the near future and combine whatever this announcement was or opportunity with this, some of you are gonna travel for pleasure. And that I really have nothing negative to say about because it feels like it could also shift you out of this other cycle that we're seeing with Justice Reverse and Three of Swords reversed. In other words, we see healing and positivity coming from this, plus just a change of scenery, which I think is overdue. Um, as we're looking at sort of how you're feeling throughout the month here, we have the Five of Swords and it's in the reverse state. So what some of you are going to be working on this month is understanding that if there's some sort of a, um, a conflict or situation that's coming through, it could be with um, women in your life. It doesn't have to be any particular woman and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be um, an energy of sisters. It could be an, um, an aunt. It could also just be women that can't get along in your life as well. What you want to look at with this is, is this worth your time and energy? I would say to try to pull back from this because it's a no-win situation. And what's better here is we're looking at your environment card is to redirect your resources. This is not just money, it's time, it's energy, it's affection, it can be love. And this is saying, spend it differently. What I like with the Six of Pentacles is whenever I look at someone's finances, this to me is sort of the base level of being okay. It may not be exactly where you wanna be because the card was reversed, 
but there's choices that are inherent with the Six of Pentacles. And basically with proper planning and, and um, really logical thinking, you can make it work. Even a trip or buying something that might be per perceived as a luxury item, if you budget accordingly, you can make it work. You'll notice here that um, the person that's holding the coins doesn't let go of everything. And usually there are some people that aren't receiving the coins, which are, again, symbolic of what you say no to or what sacrifices you make so that you can do what you want to do. So you're going to have not just uh, enough, but I would say even a little more than enough, but you're not going to have everything that you want. And so when it comes to how you spend your time and your money and your love, choose well. If people in your life are driving you crazy, it's probably good to kind of pull back and create space from them. If there are people that are gossiping, also good to say no to that kind of gossip and realize that sometimes you can't make people happy. The most important thing for you is to be authentic and this in and of itself and to really follow your heart and your soul. This is what's going to allow the biggest healing to take place this month. In the hopes, fears and opportunity space, we have the seven of wands. This is also an extension of what we just talked about in the six of pentacles. You're going to have a lot going on this month. You're going to be able to manage all of it. That's the great thing with the seven of wands. There are some things that are not worth the time though. And the seven of wands can show that over time, if you keep trying to be everything to everyone, if you keep trying to uh, manage all the things on your schedule, even the ones that aren't feeling like they're really uh, feeding your heart and soul anymore, then at the end of the day, what can happen is frustration, um, a shorter fuse, and it could lead to disagreements or just generally speaking, you not being as happy as you should be. And I think for some of you, the Three of Swords is emerging or is rooted in the fact that there's too much on your plate and it's time to push some of it to the side. So the Seven of Wands connected to the Six of Pentacles is saying, okay, does everything have to be done right now? Can I file an extension? Can I uh, delegate? Can I just simply say no? The answer to most of those things is yes, you can probably do one or all of these things. So why not do that and give yourself some time, relax a little bit, have some fun, take a vacation, take a trip. It's going to be very good for the heart and the soul. You're going to be inspired this month. Some of you may uh, feel a, a rush of creativity coming through. The Three of Pentacles is great for those of you that are artists, um, poets, photographers, or uh, for some of you, you might be inspired to invest in yourself, taking a class, um, reading, or maybe going back to college. Because for me, the Three of Pentacles is usually higher education or a very specialized training. Uh, so this is great if you're going to go down that route. I think no matter what happens this month, these two cards are showing that you're going to feel a sense of accomplishment and success towards the end. As a resource card, this also shows that you've mastered things. This is one of the few cards where it's okay for you to go down a little bit. The Three of Pentacles is good, and in some levels, it's better than the Eight of Pentacles because this shows mastery, where the Eight shows apprenticeship. So you're going to get to a point in your life where you've solved something. Maybe it's saying no, maybe it's saying goodbye, maybe it's coming out and revealing something about yourself, uh, maybe it's getting rid of some things in your life that have brought you pain or discomfort. Maybe it's simply managing your time and energy better. And maybe it's not second guessing yourself. Whatever's going on this month, there's going to be a sense at the end that I feel stronger. I feel better. And you might actually have created that chain that we talked about earlier, where you have abundance, friendship and opportunities coming through because you've learned to embrace and cherish what's important. And that's what the Six of Pentacles and that's what the Seven of Wands are encouraging you to do. Make good choices. Push away the other stuff. Also, keep your guard up. For those of you that are spiritual and have felt like a third eye opening happening, I want you to practice good self-care this month. Get adequate sleep. Make sure you're doing things like an Epsom salt bath. Um, smudge your house. Smudge your body as well. And uh, keep some sort of a meditation practice, even if it's just 
walking through, you know, a public garden and allowing for things to kind of uh, let, you know, letting go as you're doing that, as you're connecting with nature or literally sitting down, closing your eyes and meditating in a more traditional sense. You need to get back to nature and back to basics this month. And this is going to help. Um, you may also have a creative ability to channel information this month and you could use your writing or your painting or illustration skills to get that out as well. Let's go ahead now and expand your forecast. We're going to start with your health card and health includes mind, body and spirit. So in the health area, we have a card here that's representing cycles in your life. We have a completion cycle, which can mean a multitude of things. Um, in its very literal sense, some of you, as I said earlier, might be experiencing some sort of loss in your life. And we see that symbolized with the Six of Swords and also here with this. And if that's the case, you've got to be kind to yourself. You've got to allow for healing to take place. That's why the Knight of Cups came through, and that's why the Three of Swords came through. The good news is both of those cards were reversed, so the energy is going to start to um, dissipate a little bit, and you're going to feel a relief. I think that for many of you, however, a change in environment is going to be really important to that end. Um, the other thing with this is it could show that you're wrapping up some loose ends in your life, which is exciting. So for some of you, there may have been question marks about the past, um, particularly about old friendships or about a love interest. And this is going to give you a sense that I ended up where I needed to be. Or it could give you a second chance because we do have the star card there. But whatever happens this month, you feel a sense of feeling OK with where you're at, like and knowing now that whatever you decide to pursue, it's your it's on your terms, basically. So this is a really great card, no matter what end of the spectrum you're at, whether you're, you've been going through a tough time, it's showing that that's going to start to get easier. And if you're going back and kind of looking at something from the past, you get a chance now to wrap it up, to feel good about it, to get additional understanding from a different point of view and a different point in your life. So um, an exciting time when it comes to emotions this month. And I think that's the most important thing that I see here. Just spotlighting a couple of the other cards here with health messages. You want to be um, very careful when it comes to how much you're drinking. Uh, the Three of Cups really is reminding you to be uh, moderate and balance things out whenever it comes to alcohol, caffeine, and just making sure also that your water intake is where it needs to be. And for those of you that have a family history of any problems with the heart, whether it's blood pressure, heart disease, blood sugar issues. Obviously, this is something you should be talking to your doctor about, but this is coming through as a reminder to do so. And those are the main messages that I see outside of this cycle card, which I saw. Um, the fact that it is a, a completion card would mean that if there was something you were trying to give up, maybe drinking, smoking, caffeine, you would have luck this month and you may be able to channel your energy into something else or you might get a benefit from reading or writing about this as well. Let's go ahead now and expand your forecast and take a look at, uh, we just looked at health, we're going to look at wealth. Wealth is not just money or um, jobs coming in, it's also how you feel about yourself and what you're doing to either pull in things or push them away. This is a month where you should be accepting and embracing, so let's see what the message is here. So as we look at your wealth area this month, we have a card that shows changing. It's obviously storm here. And uh, for some of you, this is going to indicate maybe an, an outside source of shifting or changing or stress that you didn't anticipate or that you can't wholly control. And the most important thing to remember this month when we looked at your environment card was we had, although it was reversed, we still had the Six of Pentacles card that came through. So that tells me that even if there's an unexpected bill, um, something that happens where you feel like things are just hard to manage, that through proper choice, organization and management, I feel like you're going to be able to get on top of this. Don't be afraid to seek out the help of a professional. This might be a tax specialist, an accountant, or maybe there is something in your own bookkeeping that you missed because when I look at Three of Pentacles, it's all about the details, the fine print. So as 
frustrating or difficult as something could feel or seem initially, give it a second look and realize that there might be a way that you could resolve some of that. Suffice to say, because we're seeing a card here that shows volatility, I would not make any major changes to an existing investment or to do anything that's kind of risky this month. One final note that I'd like to make when I'm looking at this is, for some of you, there may be an unexpected uh, end to a job situation. This could either be an early termination of a contract, there could be pink slips or a layoff situation. And in this particular situation, it does feel like even if this is not the best timing or the way that you wanted it to come about, I feel like there may be a healing sort of energy involved with this because you weren't happy and it may open up new opportunities. Remember to be in that uh, energy of receiving. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And when I go back to that channeled message of that connection, don't be afraid to kind of pull on your friends and say, hey, I'm looking for this or I've helped you before. Can you help me out? Uh, it could involve a text, an email, or some sort of written communication with a loved one, and you might be able to open something up in that area. All right, let's move along now and take a look at your message for love. A reminder that this always includes more than just romantic relationships. Love is a universal currency. This gives us some advice on how to spend it, and that includes all types of relationships. The message for love this month is that if there's been a period or a stretch of time where either you haven't been happy or you haven't been seeing someone or you haven't made time for love to exist, we see relationships and love starting to open up, starting to bloom. So for me, a, a card that shows absence when it's reversed actually is showing that things are going to start to break through in that area. So um, one of the things that's a requirement of this, of course, is to just work on the internal healing. And I feel like some of you may have just taken time off. There could have been a really long engagement, a relationship, or an experience that was difficult. Um, for some of you, there could have been a loss in your life, a loss of a spouse, um, because Justice Reversed, Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords uh, cards can show someone's passing that was difficult. And it just didn't feel right, or you were exhausted after this. And I'm starting to see a breakthrough in that area right now where especially when we saw in the health area, the completion card, you are now ready for something new. I would also say if you're in a happy, committed relationship with this card coming through, it's also saying make sure that you make time for fun and that you make time for uh, just couple time together. It's going to be really important for the health of the relationship. If you're single and happy, this means that because you're sort of detached from it, there still may be opportunities that come through in part because of that disinterest. So just be awake and aware this month. As I said earlier, free choice and awareness and presence of mind is going to really be what either allows you to embrace the opportunities as they come in or miss them because you're walking by and looking at your phone while someone's kind of flirting with you. So just know that these opportunities exist this month. Um, it's up to you whether you want to embrace them. Let's look now at your destiny. Uh, the destiny card is all about your overall trajectory. This will give you sort of an indication on if you're in the right path or if there's some course corrections that you can make. Again, free will always plays a part, so this is your GPS. So your destiny card is about forgiveness. Uh, we have Jesus here, the Ascended Master, and it says, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So for those of you that may have unresolved karma or uh, feelings of sadness or guilt or anger or something with your parent, and, or it can also be a mother that kind of comes through as the stronger one, but I would say there is parental healing that can happen. And for those of you that perhaps uh, were in a marriage where one partner really seemed dominant, this can also kind of be part of this because they took control. What you want to do this particular time now is if that partnership has dissolved, either through its own sort of natural course um, or through divorce or through death, you have a chance this month to start to do some healing and move forward. And that's going to happen with forgiveness. 
forgiving yourself, perhaps for not making a change earlier, forgiving the other person for their faults. They were just human. They were just going through an experience on this planet. And looking at everything with this lighter and kinder lens, because when we go through things, all we can really feel is what it is that we're going through. We can't look at it from a high level and understand the other person's story, their motives, their difficulties. With time, with age, with experience, we start to realize that there's always a different point of view. And this is saying, choose the path of light, try to forgive, at the very least forgive yourself. That's usually the easiest form of forgiveness that you can start with. And eventually you might find a way to forgive the other person. In doing that, your heart mends and it allows you to live your best life, your fullest life, and love can enter again. And I really feel like that's what wants to happen when I'm looking at this here. So there's a chance for renewed happiness, love, and joy. And whether you want to spend it in a relationship or another part of your life, it doesn't matter. The heart wants to heal this month. And that's the uh, final message that came through. Let's go ahead now and review everything that we talked about, and then I'll leave you with a closing message. Your channeled message this month was really about embracing the opportunities that came through, cherishing all of the wonderful little things in your life that make living worthwhile, and with that sense of gratitude and openness, new things, love, jobs, happiness can come through. When we looked at the catalyst, it said that if you simply can believe in the possibilities, then you will be able to move past some of the blocks and success will be at your fingertips. But you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe um, in others as well. As we looked at this uh, center spread here, there's a lot of information to unpack. One thing that's clear is that many of you are moving on. And we saw that in multiple places here. So Justice Reverse, Three of Swords Reverse, Six of Swords, and Completion. This could be finally letting go of an ex, finally forgiving a father, a husband, or a strong dominant male figure in your life, F finally leaving a job that is no longer satisfying for you. Um, whatever your sort of movement in life is, the overall effect is this sense of getting back to you. The star card means that your energy is shining through and that this healing that takes place is actually going to be an attractive force. You're going to get back to who you were once upon a time here in the past where we see the Three of Cups. So there's a lot of love and joy that's going to come back. It's almost a reunion of the soul, if you will, for you this month. Trust yourself. Don't second guess things that are going on. Um, spend your time wisely, let go of things that no longer need to be there, and realize that there might be a creative output that's coming through. Some of you might be going back to school as well. Travel is going to be great, so engage in that if it makes sense for you as well. Um, as we look at your health card, again, ends and beginnings of things are coming through for you. So once you let go of this, again, new love could be coming through. What's important this month is that you get the closure that's necessary. As we look at wealth, we have volatility coming through. So don't do anything that is overly aggressive when it comes to investments or spending uh, or anything of that nature. You have enough, just be smart with respect to what's going on with your, your finances. The storm can also indicate the changes, whether it's of your own choice, deciding to quit, or whether there is a restructuring or a pink slip, Whatever's going on there with money, it could be a little bit of a surprise and you're going to have to react quickly. Remember, you have a lot of friends that you can lean on as well. There's a change with relationships uh, this month. You, you're going to have people that are more interested in engaging with you, whether it's just as a friend or as a lover, or if you have an existing relationship with someone, they might want to revisit that uh, physical connection that maybe hasn't been there for a while. The most important thing, though, as we look at everything this month is it's really about healing. And when you forgive yourself, when you move past whatever pain or loss or discomfort you have, you can truly move on and you can truly start to celebrate the opportunities that want to come through this month. So that brings your monthly reading to a close. A lot of wonderful transformational energy really came through this month. So many choices really in front of you as well. Uh, the important thing as we look again at that catalyst was to believe that new great things are possible to get back to that soul space that maybe you lost track of because of the difficulties that you've had to go through over the past um, three or four years, perhaps, because when I look at the past and I look at some of the stuff that's going on right now, it feels like some of you have been on a long cycle of change. 
This month though, there's a sense of renewal and rebirth that comes through as well. If you ever feel like you wanna talk a little bit more about something that we discussed today, cause there was a lot to unpackage, or if there's something new going on in your life and you just need some assistance, there is a way that you can contact me. If you check out the first card in the video or the first link below, you'll notice that there's a link that'll take you to my booking site. From there, you can take a look at my rates and availability, and if that makes sense for you, then I look forward to chatting with you soon. If you simply enjoyed what you saw here and you would like to contribute and help support this channel, um, there's a great way that you can do that. If you click on the second card or the second link, this will take you to a page on my website that outlines how you can become a patron. There's a lot of different ways that you can do that. A one-time contribution of $1 is an example, or you can sign up for an ongoing contribution. Really, that part is up to you, but let me just tell you how it, it does positively affect the channel. These contributions go directly into helping me buy supplies, and they also help me set up time on my calendar. I see clients, and that's part of my main job. I'm also a writer, and so I have to balance these three things together. When I get contributions, I can zero out time on my calendar so I can work on just videos. The more time and the more contributions that I get, the better I can do and the quicker I can put them out each month. So that's how your contributions go directly into getting these out in a timely fashion. So I'd simply like to say thank you so much for all of you that have made this video possible. The third and the final way that you can make a difference is by sharing this on social media. If you click on the third card or the third link, you'll notice that this will take you to a page on my site where you can connect on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can also sign up for my newsletter. If you've already done that, then what you can do this month is simply share it on your social media feed. And ultimately this helps me reach new people and a larger audience. And the whole reason I'm here each and every month is to kind of help people awaken and see their possibilities. So if you do that, you're kind of like a brand ambassador and you help uh, create this network of light workers. And one thing that I say, you know, from time to time at the end of these videos and also in my newsletter is I want to create a bunch of lighthouses on this planet so that even in dark or troubling times, there are ways to find your, your sort of path back. And that's really my hope. And I hope that I was able to help you do that this month. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for supporting me. It doesn't matter how. Um, I appreciate you. And uh, again, you help make this possible. Your closing message this month, I think really centers around three words and three themes. The first here is to forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and to not sort of beat yourself up or second guess decisions you've made in the past. Sometimes there is no way to win a particular situation. You just have to walk away or move on. And that was one of the messages we saw here this month. The other ones were both to embrace and cherish. Embrace as new opportunities come through, embrace those opportunities, cherish and be grateful for everything that is here as well. That gratitude, that openness, and that act of forgiveness will keep this beautiful cycle of renewal coming through in your life. By doing this, you're basically creating a new season of your life where there is more happiness, more abundance, more light. That's why we're here, right? Um, so anyway, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey for spending the last 35 to 40 minutes with me. You have so many choices here in you, on YouTube and also in life. The fact that you uh, allowed me to be present here is humbling and also something that I really, really cherish as well. Take care of yourselves. I wish you love, light, and abundance now and always. See you again in about one month's time.